Hi, this is Carrie from Stamp with CT. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Texas. Thanks for joining me today. I want to share a little tip with you regarding using photopolymer stamps and stamping close to the hinge on your Stamparatus. Now, one of the benefits of the Stamparatus is the fact that you have the hinge and you're able to bring your plate up, move it down a hinge, re-stamp, and then continue to do that. Um, you know, especially like with a sentiment, being able to bring it down a couple of different times is a big benefit, or if you're doing some kind of a banner. So that's a great benefit of the Stamparatus, but it's also causing me an issue when I try to stamp with a photopolymer stamp. Red rubber stamps don't seem to be a problem, but when I try to stamp with the photopolymer stamp close to the hinge, this is what's happening. I'm not getting a great impression. Now there are ways to, you know, move your paper towards the center and use your magnets, that type of thing, but I just really like being able to put my cardstock up in the corner. That makes me feel better about positioning and especially if I'm making multiples, I know I'm putting it in the same place each time. So my husband is a mechanical engineer and I was showing him the issue that I had and he came up with a solution that is working for me. This is a silicone mat and you may already have one. I like to use it when I'm working with embossing paste or if I want to squeeze out some glue and just dip embellishments in it, that type thing, then you can rinse this off or wipe it off and you're ready to go. So what he did was actually put the silicone mat in the corner and then put the mat, the foam mat that we use when we uh, stamp with photopolymer stamps and that seemed to give it just enough lift that it gives you a better image, especially over there in those corners. So I'll show you right quick. Use some grapefruit, grapefruit grove ink. It's a mouthful, isn't it? And we'll ink it up really good. Put my cardstock in right quick and hold that down with my magnet. Bring the plate over and I'm just putting some pressure that ink to transfer and you'll find that it is a much better image than what I was getting when I was doing it without that little silicone mat. So what I've decided to do since this is a very easy fix that he has come up with is I've decided that anyone that purchases purchases a Stamparatus from me, I will just supply them with one of the silicone mats because it's a quick and easy fix. So thanks for joining me today. I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, just leave me a comment below or email me at stampwithct at gmail.com. Thanks so much.